your tool time with tools, reviews, and stories from text that you can trust. Welcome to another episode of PDR Tool Time. My name is Daniel Crom, along with our host, Vince D'Alessandro and John Renstom. And we have another special guest on today. But before we do that, let's talk about our sponsors. sponsors. We're talk about our sponsors. Yes. sponsors. That's what makes this happen. You know, because of our sponsors, we're able to bring you to this free, wonderful content. Yes, and our sponsors are Edgy Tools, where you get 15% off by typing in PDRTT15. Is that right, John? You're looking at me funny. That would be correct. Okay. No, I've, got, I've got our sponsors up. Sweet. Yeah. So yeah. CBD Direct, they give you 10% off if you buy your, your CBD oil and creams and ointments from them. It works. They we have all creams and ointments now? They do have creams and ointments and roll-on balms and stuff like that. Oh. I wasn't sure if we could say creams and ointments on air, but you know, yeah. <laughs> we got it now. Yeah, <laughs> hell, this is PG thirteen. You know, thirteen year olds. Need, we miss. You know, th <laughs> thirteen year olds are using creams and ointments. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Mobile Tech world. RX, Mobile Tech mobile RX, tech the RX. number Let's get it one, cleaned up. the number one mobile app for all your dent removal, paint removal paint putting on the car uh, making me money every day yes every day 30 to 40 percent increase in your income by taking on mobile tech rx uh who else do we have we have magnetech matt. Matt. magnetech matt keep a lookout guys the new ones version two is not out yet but they're starting to slip out here and there so keep a lookout for that and, and it is it is killer it is pretty killer we got color and we got some yeah, and God's color. Wonderful color world of color. Yes, and who else? Are we missing something? Hog glue, hog, hog tabs. Glue and hog, hog tabs. glue. Making yes. you faster because it comes off cleaner. Yeah, oh, the nice tagline there. Yeah, hey, hey, wow, man. So, right in there. Fire so, today. Daniel, yeah. what is our show about this lovely week? Tools, tools, tools. Yes, tools. We're going to just talk about tools. We, but we, we do have a special guest who is a tool maker. We do, but Wonderful. he only makes one tool right now. So we're just no, going to... He, he, makes, he makes three or four <laughs> versions of the tool, but he he's he's one of our up-and-coming stars. That's right. He's the future of our, our tool companies. And I wanted to have this gentleman on months ago, and this was the special occasion to bring him on because he's got some new tools. You didn't let me finish. He makes one awesome tool right now, which made my top five list of tools in 2018. Yes, he's crying right now on the inside. We're watching him on video. We're uh, touching him a little on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that is John Bedeen, the Dent Reaper, Mr. John. Dent Reaper. Absolutely. Oh. And if we put him on a trampoline, Welcome, he'll be John. A star. Wait, what was that, John? The other John? I said, if we put him on a trampoline, he'll be a shooting star. Oh, Aww. that could be interesting. You yeah. could try that. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. John. Yeah, no, super, super happy to be here, guys. Super so, happy to be here. You're thank coming you, thank, from thank a you. parking lot somewhere where? Uh, up here in Minnesota. Minnesota. It's uh, it's uh, 72 below, snowing, <laughs> and there is uh, icicles everywhere. <laughs> Sounds about right for Minnesota but, in the spring. But I see, I see sunshine out your window, and I'm west of you, and it is nothing but dark, dark clouds and thunder. Yeah, no, it is a beautiful sunny day. Uh, I was actually gonna play softball tonight, but I forego that opportunity, and now I'm just, I'm just well, hanging out so, with you guys. Well, let me ask you this, John. Up in Minnesota. Do you play uh, twelve inch softball or the big sixteen inch where you don't need a mitt? No, yeah, it's a twelve inch softball. Uh, it goes well with a twelve ounce beer. Oh, so. right, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that's it's kind of how we roll. <laughs> Is that your 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 uniform that you're wearing there? Yeah, this here. Yep. What, what's the team name? Well, this is the nightcap bar. If if I turned around, you could see my back. I do have my gray duck dent on the back here. Oh, so you sponsor the team? 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm a partial sponsor. Okay, so you're you're making enough money off of Dent Reaper tool sales to sponsor your softball team up there in Minnesota. Oh, you, no, team. I was doing this way before. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Before I got on with you guys, the game before our game here, uh, a ball came down and hit the truck right next to me, and I actually buffed the scuff out of the guy's fender. No dent there, but, you know, I did it for free. And it's uh, it's a good it's a good place to park your mobile dent unit uh, at the softball fields <laughs> oh, because there's there's plenty of dents happening. Yes, those foul balls are paying well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they pay so well. He bought the infield fence, not even the outfield fence. <laughs> yeah all right so so are you (laughs) yeah vacation every year are you are you working (laughs) what are you working all right so you showed us a new a new prototype but what else is coming down the pipeline we got the we got we discussed the three reapers yeah well yeah you got the 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 og the the dent reaper original the little red the baby blue and now um a lot of guys were asking me for a T handle set and I went through a few different versions of that, but what I wanted to do was have it. So on this, so you could flip it and have a soft push and then flip it over and still have the same Reaper kick and shave. So we got the soft push here and then on the back of the stand liner, I was talking to uh, Cliff Ramadan he suggested that I round these, round these edges off. Yeah, and uh, Mike suggested that. Um, Which Mike? Our Mike? Yeah, Toledo. All right. He, the Mike. Mike Toledo said uh, he said the Reaper wasn't shiny enough, and it needed to be shiny. <laughs> So <laughs> I don't know about we that. We shined it up. We rounded the edges off. And Freaking Mike. <laughs> we cleaned it up. We ported it. We polished it. Now it is faster, smoother, and got a tighter bone. It's not polished that, enough for my right. other tools to, to go in my toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> so now hey, you, you, know. built, you built something new so you can actually move large amounts of metal with the bone of the tool, spin it over, and finish it off with that. I, I've got to admit, John, this is this is what you're showing me is kind of give me a Woody. <laughs> well, that's a that's a different tool company. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Wood is a great ale rod, from what I understand, and he's got some really good tips. I love all of his tips, actually. But yeah, um, I've been loving it. I got I have three versions, and I've went through several prototypes to get to this specific design and uh now are you kind of making that as an all-around for a door or a fender nothing specific just sort of an all-around yeah it's more of an all-around just it's i mean you you can put it in a door you can put it in a fender you can put it through a tail light you can do any and all of that see so. it's 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 moments like this that make me love the pdr profession the most you just I, you can just ram it in anywhere <laughs> hey, I especially like the name he calls it. What the is sickle. The sickle? Is the s- <laughs> that that um that's that's Daniel's suggestion. We were gonna call it the Reaper Rod. Um, you know, it is available at dentreaper.com. I, I don't own the sickle.com, but I can look into it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the sickle. No, I, I already bought the, the URL, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sell it back to you <laughs> so it's on sale this at a week low price <laughs> so john just to rewind a little bit <clears throat> you got great dunk great duck dent repairs your your pdr company right correct yeah okay and, and you've you been- got great goose vodka <laughs> yeah we, you know what we have great duck vodka now uh, uh great duck in vodka. minnesota right. of Sorry. course but now the great duck I, i'm assuming you know I finally made it up to Minnesota to do the IMI EV training with you guys at the Standliner event, and I do notice there's a lot of uh, gray ducks, or there's a lot of ducks running around Minnesota, and uh, there's a lot of hunters and fishermen and stuff. I guess it's a th- land of a thousand lakes. Is that your 10, model? Oh, ten thousand. Sorry, I was off. By yeah. So nine. here's how gray duck came to be. When my daughter first started walking, I looked at my wife and I said, 
Before you know it, she'll be playing Duck Duck. Goose. Goose. Wrong. Gray Duck. Oh. She said Goose as well because she's from Iowa. Oh, right. <laughs> We had a, a, a knockdown, drag out fight about this. I did some Googling and found out that Minnesota is the only state that plays Duck Duck Gray Duck. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> this is the first time I've ever heard this. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. No, all true. It's, it's on my blog at grayduckdent.com. Um, but it true story. Yeah. So for whatever reason, Minnesota plays Duck Duck Gray Duck everywhere else in the world plays duck duck goose wow <laughs> and so it's just a little nod to my minnesota roots you know keep it local and okay that's awesome. i enjoy it and every time somebody asks me about it i get to you know remember why i went out on my own did, remember why i'm doing did you this grow up grew up in minnesota oh for sure yeah yeah, that, that strong. You don't have that strong accent that I, I wish you had. Like like Don Cavanaugh. Oh jeez. Oh geez. oh geez. What kind of <laughs> accent would you be talking about there? There, there you go. That's <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. much much better. You gotta go a little further north. We'll get you some hot dish, and you know it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can sit down and have a couple of pops and talk about it. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? We drink <laughs> pops in Chicago too. <laughs> And we put on our gym shoes. Gym shoes? Yes. When I moved to California, I said, hey, where can I get a new pair of gym shoes? He's like, uh, who's Jim and why do you got his shoes? And why do you want his shoes? <laughs> They're called sneakers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah the gym mind. shoes are for gym class. Uh, well, that's yeah. what yeah, I found I out. It. Yeah. So cool. So fast forward your PDR tech, how many years now? Nine. Nine, Nine years. Nine. Yeah. Nine. yeah. So, and then you come out with uh, the Dent Reaper and that rod. I th The funny thing about the Dent Reaper, when I can't get any other tool on, in a door on a dent, the Dent Reaper comes through and it gets the dent out every single time. No joke. Dude, the, the finishing power on that tip, when you have to push through that stupid sound deadening. Sound deadening. Oh. <laughs> oh, just. Or aluminum. And, and finish off that. Yeah. So, absolutely great loved it on my last hail job yeah so i'm really grateful like i said i it made my top five list last year and you know we get a lot of tools and i really appreciated that and that tool made me a lot of money that's why it made my list uh you sense have sent me the the mini reap or the middle one i'm sorry little red little red yeah little red little and, red reaper and the and baby blue boy blue How, how'd you come up baby with these blue complex reaper. names baby blue. um you know, I just knew they were going to be two more sizes, and I figured if we color coded them, it would be easier. Yeah, not it's, not it's, super it's, genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could but, be you know, on a little. Everybody bit else is like D twenty two or you know R four. <laughs> I just I don't know. I just felt like my tools. I name all of my tools, like even my dent craft tools. Uh, you know, I got my my green machine or my mint green machine or big pink or little yellow. Like you have, all you, of my tools have names. Yeah. So I know what I'm going like when I'm like, Oh, I gotta, I need, I need my MGM for this and I'll just go get it. Uh, do you, do you have a Billy, 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 a what? A Billy, 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 yeah. Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy, B don't, oh, it's really? turning into a 1950s Caddy band Shack? in here. No, Caddyshack. Oh, Caddy the Shack. Caddyshack, Caddyshack reference. Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a <laughs> Billy, a Billy, Shack. Billy. Okay, Maybe. get a Billy, 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 Billy. We'll work on it. That should be your favorite. That should be your favorite. Somebody's gonna get that name. Billy, Billy, Billy. Every time you take out a dent with it. Oh, we're showing our age on this podcast now. You know, we have a whole bunch of all the young guys, all the young guys, and all the international guys, all the guys from England and Australia, couple in China. They're like Patty Shack, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Yes, great movie. Bill Murray. Uh, Bill Murray. Everybody loves him. Yeah. Great. Yep. So cool. So now you got Great Duck. You got Dent Reaper. You're coming out with tools. Who makes your tools again? A1. A1. Uh, John and Maria Callenbach. Great people. Uh, Love them. Salt of the earth. They are salt of the earth people. 
Yeah, gotta um, love them. So uh, and you can get them with a fixed handle and an adjustable hand because I've got the correct, adjustable correct. Hand. Yeah, that you do. That you do. Yeah. So, and where where can we find these awesome tools, Mister the Dean? You, you can find them at dentraper dot com, or you can find them at a one, or you can find them at TDN or uh, Smart PDR Tools in Australia, and Kiko carries them too. Sweet, so. Ooh. Anson, Man, look at yeah. you diversifying. Anson carry them? Uh, they do not as of yet. Okay. Well, yeah, Man, Vince, where are you on that one? Hey, I'm I'm not in charge of tools at Anson. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw one down at Anson though when I was there for uh for the party. For the open house. Hmm. And if they do, they probably get them from direct from A one. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Wow. That's it. Cool. I've got all these computer screens in front of me, not doing anything anyway, so time to go to the Anson website. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. How many computer screens do you have? 35. I, like, uh, I have three. I feel like John is in a Star Trek-like setup. He is. And if you notice the, 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 the shelves behind him, that's actually his porn collection. No, his wife's <laughs> porn collection. Not his, My wife's. His wife's. Oh, wife's porn collection. Yes. It's yeah. very deep. There's many shelves, and it's, then they got a separate another room. Sometimes he does a podcast there. The the wig the wig room the wig room yes <laughs> wig room. the wigwam yes but yeah see it's like now the it's wig like, room is a wigwam unending supply <laughs> of screens but yeah see I got multiple screens up in here that's why I can answer questions so quickly when people call me on. Uh, Oh, yeah. Look at that weather outside. Look at that cloud covers moving. Didn't hail in Rapid City, South Dakota, in case anybody's curious. Yeah. That a dump truck? Is that That's your dump truck out there? That yep. would be a dump truck out there. Yes. Is I that yours? A, yes. I purchased a dump truck last week. Shut yeah. up. Yep. That is so cool. <laughs> you know, so many got... questions. So many questions. <laughs> well, we'll have to save that for another <laughs> podcast. That's a whole podcast full. <laughs> Well, I'm getting tired of finding out how strong these tools are, and that dump truck box has got some dents. <laughs> oh, geez. And we are going to find out which one of these puppies can straighten that dump truck box. Let's get a reaper, shot. Dan. <laughs> nice. The reaper on a dump truck box. I mean, <laughs> I'm not making any promises. But yeah. we can... I would love to watch. <laughs> but that, we're going to have to get out live. I've actually been called out to fix dents in a dump truck. Uh, out here, yeah, yeah. There, there's some guys that they, they take dump trucks to shows, and they have them all chromed out and all pinstriped out and everything. So I got called yeah. out to fix uh, a dump truck that was chromed out in the back. I'm like, I can't fix this. He's like, well, just try. I got to take it to a show. And he had high spots coming out the backside. It wasn't yeah. moving. It was not moving at all. It's. Uh, I mean, it's we're. You're talking some big money outfits. Oh, yeah. uh, is, you know, you need a 16 pound craftsman hammer for that one. At least, <laughs> you better have a three foot handle. <laughs> Buffy's that's some heavy. But there's a there's a little tear in the floor of my dump truck, and I was talking with my my friend about it. He's like, "My God, what do you think they dropped on that thing?" I'm thinking. I could you imagine pushing that or trying to shrink that out? Yeah. You know, Ooh, that's, that's not that's happening. Something. Well, John, we're going to continue talking on the tools that uh, we were going to talk about today. We uh, wanted to showcase you because you make awesome tools. And uh, feel free to hang out Wait. for a little bit and put your input on and what the tools we're going to talk about here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I know, John, John, do you had one specifically that you've been working with the last couple of weeks now? You want to let our listeners know what's going on with that, Mr. Renstrom, John? <laughs> yeah, so I just picked up the new version of the Carbon Tech hood stand. So uh, I know last last year, last year and a half or so, I, I threw out a lot of videos involving the first-gen Carbon Tech hood stand. And this year in moving it, we've already discussed that I'm apparently starting to buy heavy equipment. I somehow managed to use one of those to break my Carbon Tech hood stand. So I have now got Gen 2, and let me tell you, it was beefed up in all of the right areas. As far as a, a 
folding collapsible hood stand, it kind of has the least amount of movement of all the ones. You know, when you got it up and the casters are locked, you got a big super duty Ford hood up on there. You know, that the old metal ones that weighed a ton. I mean, this, the hood stand was solid. It didn't have a lot of wobble. That was one of the things that some of the other hood stands really had a lot of wobble to them. And now uh, all the joints that were metal are now a machined nylon block on this thing. Uh, it is much more, it's even tighter. It's more stable than it was. But yeah, I get to put it up, put it down in seconds. Like my little, teeny little garage. I mean, I got to get the hood stand out of my way when I finish a hood. Oh, yeah. Nice not to have to spend 20 minutes undoing my tabletop stand or the old, my old metal A1 was great, but when you fold it up, it collapsed and leave that bruise on your leg as you went to haul it across because it weighed 80 pounds. Take a toe off. And they still, yeah. it still doesn't collapse <laughs> into a very small package. Yeah. And the carbon tech, I love it. I just knock down the four bars and slide it off into a corner and it is out of my way in seconds. It's kind of like a camping chair. You know, it, it just is. boom it collapses down and out of, out of the way. Is that how? Is that how big it is? I mean, I'm a mobile guy, so well, to take a hood stand with me is almost impossible. Yeah, when it is collapsed, it grows a little bit in length when it's collapsed. So I think it's about four and a half foot tall when it's in collapsed. But it's uh, about twice as big around as your average collapsing camp chair. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So that fit makes in it my work. that'll fit in my drawer perfectly next to my light. So I might, uh, we're going to have to check that one out for sure. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's another thing I wanted to mention too. The John, check out his blog with, is it on great duck dent repair? Yeah. Great duck dent.com. Yep. Great duck dent.com. He's got an awesome blog that he does and he's got a really cool setup for a truck as well. He has a camper shell that has a pull down toolbox, which I've never oh, yeah. seen before. You know what? Oh, I I saw the video that Don did on yeah, your Don truck. Yeah, Don Cavanaugh did a video. And on I was oh, like, oh, that was Ryan from Cincinnati. That wasn't my truck. He had oh. that big, uh, that big canopy. No, not the canopy. Up. Not the canopy. You have the the. Pull yeah, down. I have a. Yeah, it's called a cap pack or a yeah. leer a leer locker. It it attaches to the roof of your topper, and you can actually. It's a big drawer. For it those in California, length. that's called a camper. Camper <laughs> shell, not a topper. Is that, oh, okay. Yeah. We call it a topper up topper. here in Minnesota. Yeah. In California, we call that a camper shell. Yeah, it's a okay. topper in South Dakota. It goes the length of, of, of your camper shell and or topper, uh, you know. And Lear makes one. It's called a Lear locker. But it's a big drawer, and it's... I mean, it's I swear it awesome. was designed by a dent guy because it's so perfect for us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You I can put that, anything I was, in there. I was like, whoa, what the heck is that thing? Yeah. The first time I saw one, I immediately found out where to buy one. Nice. <laughs> and how much that are was, those things? Uh, mine was is like 800 bucks. It, you have to buy the in, camera shell installed. with Installed. No. Well, I already had one. So installed. It was 800 bucks that's cool nice. it's awesome but i have a kind of a small i have a a tacoma with a five and a half foot bed so or yeah four and a half foot bed i have a tiny bed yeah but well you know uh, what that that uh if you need a it's colder uh, in minnesota <laughs> so what's it called who's lear makes it lear Le lear makes a lear locker or it's a cap pack sport Type that up for our listening audience there, Daniel. Put it in the show notes. I'm, I'm doing that now. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so a, a hood stand like that would be perfect. You know, the carbon tech would fit in there, and it's lightweight. It's not going to weigh you down at all. So that's kind of cool. So, Daniel, you, you you had a couple tools that you wanted to well, approach today. Uh, uh, is John Renstrom? Oh, I'm done? sorry, John. Were you done with that? No, I'm I'm. I'm done. I, there's only no, so much you, you're liking about. all the improvements. It's the way improvements better. are badass. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just it's much tighter. Um, it's going to be that nylon is going to be a bit more forgivable. I mean, I I smashed mine between a skid steer and a jeep. So um, <clears throat> stay away from just, skid steers and jeep. <laughs> yeah, don't do stupid stuff. I don't uh, know what <laughs> I don't know what a skid steer is, but apparently, well, are, do they have the real long horns? The skid steers? 
Oh, a tractor. <laughs> the skid steers, they have the real long horns, right? Or the, or the, the short horns. The, uh, the skid steer is a short horn steer, I believe. It, it, okay. it would be a short one. <laughs> they love their tractors in North Dakota, and they want their dents taken out. So he had it right next to his Jeep. That he was yeah. working on. That's why. I, that's why I bought the. Makes dump. sense to me. I right. needed to empty the skid steer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, All right, Daniel. What Daniel, do you got? moving on, dude. What so, do you got, man? Um, I got I got the new three eighths rod from um, Dentcraft, and um, they have a series of really nice low profile tips. And he sent me the rod. I got the tips and I was like, wait a second. These are quarter inch threads. They won't fit my other tools. So he sent me a, a rod to go with it. And at first I was like a little like, God, why did they do that? Why didn't they make it 5 sixteenths? Because Ultra makes a the same diameter rod with a 5 sixteenths thread. So I know it can be done. And at first I was a little miffed about it. But after I got the rod and what I realized that with my ultra, I end up using those tips on all my other rods and I lose them or they get stuck on other rods and they're hard to find by being a quarter inch. You're not going to use them on any of your other tools. You know where they're at and they're easier to find. So that's, that's kind of the added benefit. So at first I was mad about it, but now I'm like, this is maybe a good thing. So, um, and of course their tools are super stiff, super strong. Just, you know, everybody knows who that has dent craft tools. Their stuff is just stellar. You know, you can't beat it, but that three eighths diameter fits in those factory holes that you take out the plugs, like in BMWs and other, other cars, you'll find them. And they just, they're just perfect sometimes in the perfect diameter, just barely get to, to a spot or behind a brace or behind Dan skinny areas that you just can't get another tool to. Daniel, did you get a double bend or, or a single bend? What, what type of rod did you get? Cause they, they hit, make a whole set of them. I ended up getting, yeah, I ended up getting the, um, Did we lose Daniel? I think we might have lost Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like a statue on my <laughs> screen. Yeah. It, it like, totally froze. <laughs> so let's ad lib for Daniel. I, so there, I think it's a 24 inch uh, three. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> there for a second, it looked like he just took a fresh drink of rum and he was like savoring the flavor. Oh, but then it went on a little again. long for a rum, rum drink. <laughs> okay. Now he's back. Medusa got him. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> my my kids just my son just got home, so he's on the internet, probably sucking it dry. Okay, well, tell us once again <laughs> which one. Thirty you get? inch double bend. A thirty inch. I went with the eighteen inch double bend, and I'm liking that too. Even even with that diameter, you would think that it would be soft or or some flex to it, and there's nothing. It's rock solid. Yeah, it's some hardened it, steel. It's it's a really great tool. Yeah, so highly recommend. Love it. So good to go. That's good. Uh, it. And then I also got the I got some new stuff from VIP. So they had a um, plastic version of their Edge Killer. I don't know what he, something they don't have a na name. Yeah, that's an anvil shaped uh, tap down head. That yeah, is. some people oh, were talking good. about I mean, elephant toe. Elephant toe. Yeah, <laughs> I like the anvil. I like the anvil. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know i got nothing on that one yeah, yeah. i know so, i yeah so I'm it's lost. a plastic version of the metal version they first came out with right. which i really like because sometimes you get softer paint and it just does the job yep. works great but they also have a new round kind of a um kind of resembles edgy tools uh knocker but a little bit smaller diameter. Mm. Yep. Um, I saw that. Yeah. And um, I'm using it as a tap down. Um, you know, both those tools, the, the thing I don't like about them is I, I want softer edges on them if I'm going to put them on a hammer. 
So if you strike mm-hmm. wrong, you're not going to put a nice crease dent. Or chip it. feel like a lot more rounded edge on the tip yeah. for your hammer. And that's that that's the only thing I don't like about both those hmm. tools. So they work really? great as a knockdown, but to put them on the end of a hammer, eh, a little cautious. Now I like that flat face. Yeah, me too. I, and having no, that, I, that I, hard line. I, no, so. don't 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 disagree with you, but I want round round yeah. older. Yeah, edge. I've been using that edgy knocker on my uh ratchet hatchet. Mm-hmm. Yep. man that thing is a killer combo i love it yeah peter, i love the ratchet hatchet peter from uh vip he had sent me the prototype of that blending tip and it wasn't polished but it was still good and what i did i took my ratchet hatchet and i have the edgy knocker on one side and then i have the vip mm. uh the blending tip on the other side and the two completely different domes on it you know one the edgy knocker is flatter than the vip one so okay it and it with the ratchet hatchet, you know how it self adjusts to your rail or or your angle that you're working on. So yeah. I was getting two different knockdowns, which is nice because it's all on one hammer, and I would just flip it over and boom, 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 flip it back. Got best yeah. of both worlds. Nice, nice, nice. That sounds like a sweet deal. Yeah, it is a sweet deal. So uh, I I've had a, I've been inundated with tools lately. Uh, the the one thing that I I was going to bring up the Viper skins. But uh, we'll save that for n- another episode. Viper skins? What are the Viper skins? Well, the Viper <laughs> skins, the Viper skins are, <laughs> are the sandwich handle system that goes over the uh, the ratchet reaper handles. And it, it <laughs> you want large for all three sizes of reapers. Yes. Yes. And it comes in green curious. or black. I think just I said. It's like when you're, just to remember, so you can remember that, it's just like when you go shopping for rubbers. Oh boy! You want the large? Well, I, I always get large. I always yeah. get large. I go yeah. Magnum. <laughs> rubbers. What are rubbers? I never. It, I never you, follow the trend. Give me the micro. <laughs> you get. You get ice cream bars. What? I. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> the Magnum ice cream bar. Yes, with nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've gone off. There we go. Now, here it don't rain enough for us to be putting on no rubbers. I mean, just good shoes will get you by. <laughs> that must yeah. Be soda. yeah, yeah. I prefer to feel my feet in the mud. You know, that's all. Well, you know what? I, you know, well, actually, I think what I'll do is I'll spend this time clarifying some of the the things with the the viper skins because I, I was going to go into some other things that I got. But there's, I don't want any confusion of, of uh, what's going on out there with these. And basically, if you're thinking about buying the, the Viper skins, uh, the large one is going to carry, is going to cover every A1 stand liner or tequila tool that is 5 sixteenths and up. Okay? So large Reaper. covers the Reapers, uh, uh, A1 stand liner. And I'm missing one. Oh, yeah, and tequila line. So anything 5 16th and up is what you need to remember. So 5 16ths, 3 eighths, 7 16ths will all take the large Viper skin. The large comes in green and black, okay? Now, the small Viper skin covers 7 32nds and quarter inch. Now, we're calling those medium, I thought. Well, no, it's still small. Okay. So... Ooh. Let's not confuse them. So, because on the website it still says small. There's a large and a small viper skin. When the smalls come in orange and black as well, and that's going to cover all your tequila seven thirty seconds ratcheting, and also any A one quarter inch tools. Now A one has a small handle, really small. Extra small. It's extra small, and that only carries uh, the only tool that. It carry uses that small one is a three sixteenths handle, and you wouldn't even want to put a viper skin on something that small. You know, the handle, the small ratcheting one, you're just going to be doing right. small finesse work anyway, so it's not even worth making a viper skin for that. Does that make sense? You guys got that all? That makes sense. That was perfect, Vince. Awesome okay. Job. Okay, go on to what you really wanted to talk about. What did I really want to talk about? Oh, well, oh, the gorilla bar too that I got from Hiley. You know, I had the prototype that of that. Gorilla grip. It it rips, man. It's the the world of leverage for your large diameter door tools. And this is a note that you guys need to know too. It will only fit five sixteenths and up again on the A one tools. 
so and the stair bigger, liner tools. The bigger handles. The bigger handles. So the bigger it, handles. It will not. F- so all all three Reaper sizes. <laughs> yes, but uh, it, that is serious leverage. Serious. serious leverage. And the machining on it is so beautiful. I mean, he did a really good job. Whoever machined that for John at over a tactical. I mean, it's it's a beautiful handle. And let, uh, let me ask let me ask you a question on this now that he's built that handle as I understand this that's why I'm seeking clarification yes and by that handle take all of the handles like on my my three Reaper set if I bought that gorilla grip and I'd use that same handle on all three tools correct 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 all right or you would that's- put viper skins on the smaller two and only use the gorilla grip on the biggest one. Or vice versa with any of them, but that's uh, that's how I've ha- had it set up for the last week or so, um, and that's been working pretty well for me. So yeah, because with the the big Viper, t- I'm sorry, the big Reaper tool, you would want that big handle, the big Gorilla handle on there. It it just it's a match made in heaven, I think. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's sick. It's sick. So yeah. Uh, Thank you, John. Did you have it? Did you have another tool there? Uh, well, I was going to talk about the the cabling that I got for my hot boxes, but uh, I'm still doing some testing on them, and I want to come back with an educated answer for all those. Uh, TDN is now carrying Woodpecker's uh, line of wires or cabling for hot boxes, and it'll transfer over if you have a YO or a, a T hot box by a beta tag. Bet tag, sorry. Uh, and if they've made it so you could actually put the cable into your TDN cart or any type of cart and then put your, your hot box underneath the cart and get it out of the way. And then you just run the cabling off the top of your cart. That way you don't the, – the way that a lot of these were made was a really short cable. So you ended up putting the unit on the car or really close to the car and you didn't have a lot of space to get around it. So with this, it, it extends your cable extra long. It's a cleaner look. It's a cleaner setup for, for people that are on the move all the time You know, while you're fixing hail cars. And they also have a wand, which is, I believe, a, a foot and a half long, maybe 18 inches long. And 18. Yeah, it's 18 inches, and it rotates. So it spins uh, on, its, on its axis. So sometimes you you can't see it and you don't want to move your arm. You don't have to. You just move the tip and just hold it in place. That way you have that V cut out that you could actually see what you're zapping at the time with the tool. How much is their wand? Do you know? I don't know. They they have it. Because the I, other ones were like expensive as heck. I pay, I, yeah, the one I have, I paid, I think, 174 or 180. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how much TDN has them on sale for, but they also will be carrying them. A lot of people already know TDN Tools bought in Venture out of Florida, and uh, a lot of those tools are going to be available in the States a lot cheaper uh, in the upcoming months as they transition their TDN tools over to Florida. So as a hybrid guy that does primarily route and retail work and hail when it hails, as I pray, um, <laughs> would you recommend if I was going to pick between uh, a hot box or a power PDR box, which which way is the best way to go? Because I've been what, considering... what do you see more often? Do you see stretched or <laughs> um, just like hard to access, dense? You know, because they they do two different things completely. The power PDR box, you're going to shrink metal with. The hot box, you're going to use heat to expand the metal to remove the dent or displace metal. Right. Here's how I break it down: is if you're you buy the uh, power PDR box for hail, um, and then the um, the other box for door dingers. Yeah, gotcha. No, because one thing I like about using the magnetic inducer is when you're doing some nasty door dents and you're thinking, I need to warm this up with, you know, I always carried a torch as a hail guy. Oh, and, yeah. I got my torch on and already it's, always. It's insta hot and you're right in there pushing. And it's not like 
that surface heat where you're only heat, you're heating the whole thing up when you use the hot box. Now with the hot boxes, gotcha. the tea hot boxes, one thing that I will come out and say, and people say it behind closed doors, but I'm going to come out and say it: the aluminum one is far more superior than the metal one. Oh yeah, I and mean, aluminum is way more forgiving to uh, the heat. It's way more forgiving, and I fixed in the last two days. I fixed two dents that I would not have been able to fix if I did not have that aluminum hot box, and and one was on an aluminum Range Rover right by the the gas door, and the other one was on an A4 Audi on a hood with impenetrable glue all the way up in the front. The only reason why yep. I was able to fix them was with that aluminum hot box. Yeah. I've, I've made killer money with both of them, but I do have 30-foot cables on each of mine. Yeah, and that's what I'm going to be testing. I'm going to test if there's a power loss on a 30-foot cable. I uh, haven't felt any. I, have, I didn't. I have mine on a, a big old long cable, and I have it have it set up on my glue cart and I just run, run the cord and, and it doesn't seem to be any different. Really? And that's probably the argument. Cause there's going to be, there's going to be some type of draw loss over that. That's just how electricity works. Beta, beta tag says that, um, at 100 feet, you should see a 1% loss at 100 feet. Okay. Uh, yep. some of the aftermarket cords that were out there, now that's the big question because I brought bought Brett Ringland's cord probably two or three years ago, and that was a twenty five foot cord, and I've been using it constantly for the past two years, yeah. and then when I got the new ones from uh, from Woodpecker out of England, from TDN, I instantly felt the difference in my hand. I felt the power really? going through on the one. I'm like, really? oh crap! I've been stifling this machine with this smaller uh, cable. Mm. Yeah, Cause... and maybe it's just the cable size, or it could be the strand on on the inside of the cable. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, it's like having having really expensive speakers and tiny cheap speaker wire. Exactly, and that's actually what the cable that connects on the Y O and them that is speaker wire. That's what Brent was buying was yeah the speaker wire. So we all know that there's a great many grades of speaker wire. I've still been able to burn paint with the <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Cheaper cable. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You can. That's the one thing to keep in mind with these tools: the the power PDR and the hot box. Whether you're doing the aluminum or the steel, is uh, it, there's no making a mistake. You can't tap out your oopsie. You know, yep. you can't you can't push it in another spot. It you you cook the paint off. Yeah. So, yeah. There was Western. Don Cavanaugh had at his shop a, a power PDR box, and we were playing with it at the Dents for Kids event. And uh, a couple guys burned up a, a practice <laughs> there. That there was there was no saving it once that was done. Yep. So. Now I took I did when I first got all of mine. I got a scrap hood, aluminum and steel, and I shoved it to the extreme so that I knew where I was at burning paint. Um, before I ever even used it on a customer car. But I do want to clarify one thing. We were discussing the Gorilla Grip. Don't don't Google that. <laughs> That's um, <laughs> Really? So, don't, don't Google Gorilla Grip. You get a lot of strange grip. things. Thank God I have safe search on. Tacticaldenttools.com is where you can find the Gorilla Grip. So I want to go ahead and I just wanted to throw that out there. We're going to put these links up in the show notes. And also AnsonPDR.com. That's uh, yes. the first time John is actually uh, wholesaling this, and it's going to be available on the truck. It's nice. already available on the trucks and at AnsonPDR.com. And, okay, uh, I didn't see it on the their store. website when I had Anson up. But yeah, they, I, Googled, I Googled Gorilla Grip. Yes. <laughs> don't. Just don't. Tactical dent doc, tactical dent tools. Absolutely, every guy out there is going to be googling that now. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes up. It's, awesome. it, it's pet potty mats. In case you, I have no idea why those are coming up under Gorilla Grip. Pet potty mats, mats. Yeah, yeah. So your kitty and doggy can pee on the floor safe. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, yeah, cool. Well, people pay extra. So good to know. Yeah. <laughs> So, There's a tech tip in there. There is a tech tip. <laughs> well, and, and I don't know. Really, as a door dinger, a guy could probably, you know, might be cheaper than Depends. You know, you could just uh, potty mat yourself up and <laughs> you'll be okay. Good to go. Keep that keep that 64-ounce big gulp of drain. 
Geez, I don't know yeah, what yeah. happened to our show. D- D- Mr. Vadine, man, you came on here and we're 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 teetering on a PG thirteen and uh NC seventeen rating right now. <laughs> well, I'll cl- I'll Usually. clean it up for you here. Uh, uh, let me let me get out my song book here. Uh, I can't You're, find it. Not song. <laughs> uh, bring out the hymn book. Sing us a hymn. Yeah. Well, psalm psalms with oh, psalm. oh, yeah. Psalm. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Well, listen, Dang. we uh, right. we're nearing the end of our show. I don't know if uh, you guys do. You have any burning desires that you want to talk about here, Daniel? Are you awake? Man, I I wish I could talk about some stuff, but I've got a couple things coming out very very soon. I'm super super psyched on. Can't wait to debut them. Um, we got to put them through testing though, you know. So, um, but I have some exciting stuff coming up soon. So stay tuned. Well, clearly we don't know what it is because you haven't sent it to me to test, and you haven't sent no, it to that, John that, or John. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right. It has to right. go, go <laughs> to all my secret. testers. Yeah. I think what's really going to be cool is uh, MTE coming up in Vegas this year. Uh, you know, it's the first time, yeah. and there's going to be some really cool. Uh, I, I've talked to a handful of uh, manufacturers. And uh, they have guys coming up. And uh, I'm sorry, tools coming up. There's a yeah. lot of yeah. uh, Ultra's going to come stuff. out there because they can drive there, and, and they're going to come there to sell tools. So you know they they always just kind of show up at the other shows, and you have to order. But they're going to show up with their tool trucks filled nice. and ready to sell some tools. So it's going to be a different show. It's going to be it's going to be great. You know, you're going to be on the West Coast with us, West Coast boys, throwing down the gang signs, West Coast West Side. rules. And um, we're going to show you guys, you know, that we party. And is there is there a gang sign for Depends? I mean, these guys are getting older. <laughs> yeah. We party with Geritol. <laughs> it's Centrum <laughs> Silver. It, it, hand mid- signals for fell and broke a hip. Midwest. Midwest. When are we coming to Minnesota? Well, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. No, I'm oh, I'm, I'm stoked for you. I'm stoked for Vegas as well. My my wife is uh, is pushing hard to go to that one. So uh, my well, wife will you, be there. Toledo's wife, Daniel's wife, John's wife. Yep. There'll be a lot this of wives. First time my wife will be at a show. So nice. for all those that that have not believed that I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Mike, she's, she's yelling in the background now. Well, as, <laughs> as pervy as you've been at these shows, Daniel, people do question whether or not you're married. <laughs> I've only been pervy with you. Uh, well, there was that, that one true. time. That is true. That yeah, but, <laughs> oh, but, but my love is count. always for you, Vince. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, all right. Well, there's other co- shows coming up too. There's, uh, yep. there's, you know what? We just signed another deal for an IMI EV class with Ding King. So, if speaking of West Coast, if you're on the West Coast, uh, you could sign up for uh, Mike Toledo's show. Is at the end of what are we in May? Uh, go to PDR. Uh, uh, AnsonPDR.com. Go to the training. You're going to see a whole bunch of uh, new uh, IMI EV courses coming up. One is going to be at Toledo's shop down in San Diego. And then in July, at the end of July, we're going to be at Ding King in Costa Mesa, which will be a lot of fun, too. Fortunately, they're right down the street from my shop, so it's kind of a hop, skip, and a junk. jump. So oh, cool. there's that. Awesome. What else is going on? we got PDR World Cup coming up around the corner. Uh, you know, Sima. guys... If you have shows that you want us to advertise, just reach out to us. Let us know, and we'll put them up on our calendar, and we'll talk about them because uh, we Men, love this industry. Shows, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Meet and greets, meetups, let us know, and we will put them up there for you for everyone else to see. And yeah. That, Is everybody in Canada right now? Oh, <laughs> cut yeah. you off. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Everybody's it, up in Canada Oh, is it a, I don't know when this airs. This is airs next over? Tuesday, so it will be over. I leave for Canada uh, this Thursday in two days. But uh, yeah. Los Ciento, Canada. Too late. Eight. Yep. Edmonton. So Canada will be going on. So you lost us there. That must be some more Minnesota humor. All right. May 25th in San Diego at Dent Time. Okay. Yes. And uh, by the time uh, it, it'll be July 20th 
at Ding King in Costa Mesa, which I toured the facility today. It's a really nice facility. I was really impressed. Nice. Cool. Right on. All right, guys. Remember to level up your tools with a Dent Reaper. And don't do stupid stuff with a tractor. Keep it stiff with, I don't know. (laughs) With a stiffy. A stiffy. With morning wood. Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) 